All right, my name is Haley Hulse, and I was born with an abnormal meniscus, a medial discoid meniscus that 0.12% of the population actually have, um, which means the normal meniscus is shaped, C-shaped, and that is the cushion between your bones and your knee um, to supply like shock absorbance and to cushion your bones from uh, getting arthritis and things like that. And you don't really notice they're there until you're without one. Dr. Olson had given me a little, you know, it's probably, sports probably aren't going to be there much longer, you know, like you're going to need a knee for the rest of your life. And so, I, it was hard to take um, at the time, but I was like, okay, as much as I didn't want to admit that I probably wasn't going to get to play college sports, I was like, okay, I need to be able to walk, you know, in the future. <laughs> uh, Dr. Hill, both of them, that whole ortho clinic has really changed my perspective on this. So I asked him, I was like, there's a thing I've read about it, I googled it online, like, you, you think there's a possibility of having this surgery, you think that will help me? And he's like, that's a very, very difficult surgery, and it's something that's not commonly done at all. He's like, you're at the stage in your life where you can't have any replacement, you're too young. Um, so this may be your last resort, but he's like, you want to push that off as long as you possibly can. And but yeah, they sat down and they searched for like a day and called up some orthopedic surgeons and said, hey, we've got a very rare case here and she needs the best medical support she can have. Um, she's wanting a meniscus transplant and I think that's her last resort right now. In that um, long period of time where they were searching, I was like, you know, Dr. Olson, you think I could like scrub in and observe one of these surgeries? Like, I wanna see what's going on. I wanna better understand what's going on with my knee. As soon as I observed that first surgery, I was like, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. I ended up settling with this surgeon out in Gresham, and that was a pretty emotional experience, but Dr. Olson um, and Clay really got me set up and prepared for that appointment. Uh, sent over all my information from this hospital, trying to give the doctor that they had um, referred me to the best knowledge about my situation. It's pretty amazing actually the amount of support and how much the surgeon Dr. Olson really does care about his patients um, to call my surgeon up and ask him you know how is this going or having my surgeon in Gresham ask him hey I need your opinion on this you saw her before I did this meniscus transplant that took 12 hours for him to do um, and so I've just been quite down quite the road with my knee um, it's been pretty rough and emotional at times, but I've learned so much from it and I've never been so um, enthusiastic or interested in the subject before in my life. It's this opportunity that I am looking at now as a blessing to give me that passion and that perseverance to get through school and to get through medical school just to help people like Dr. Olson and um, Dr. Hill have helped me along with the ortho clinic and the staff here at Grand Ronde Hospital. So I can definitely thank Dr. Olson and Dr. Hill for starting me on that journey with orthopedics. But yeah, there's nothing I'd rather do and without the Grand Run Hospital I wouldn't have been able to find that passion.